What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm talking to you about this right here, the EYOYO 1D Bluetooth slash 2.4G wireless barcode scanner. And basically today is going to be sort of like a how-to but also a review at the same time. Um, I know a lot of people have picked this up on my recommendation and they're a little confused as to how it works. I was also confused when I started out. Uh, it took a little bit of time getting used to it and understanding its um, its whole setup and how it goes about linking to your phone and working and all that. It is an analog scanner and so that being said, uh, there's no digital display, there's no screen to set it up with your phone. Everything happens in this right here booklet that is called the Bluetooth slash 2.4G wireless barcode scanner user manual. And it's got some uh, information in there. Everything from uh, like a table of contents, just like a book, working conditions, how to install it, um, pairing it with your Android or iOS operating system, pairing it with your computer, both Windows and, um, and Mac, and yeah, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and um, Mac operating systems. So what do you get whenever you order this uh, this scanner? First off, you get the scanner and you get the battery inside the scanner, rechargeable battery. You get the charging cable. This is not actually the charging cable that came with it. The one that came with it's very short. And so I just use one of these. Um, it's just a mini USB cable and the port is right here on the back to charge the scanner. Uh, it takes about three hours to fully charge it. On a full charge, it claims to run, uh, what did it say? Seven hours or seven and a half hours straight in scanning, like beep scanning mode. And then um, in standby mode, like 75 hours. So if you just turn it on and left it, supposedly 75 hours. Uh, not quite sure how true that is. I've not put it to the test. I do know this. I go scanning for eight to 10 hours at a time. Uh, most days of the week and it works great. When I say eight to 10 hours of scanning, that's like one hour per store and then driving time in between. And so, uh, yeah, it, it works out really well. Um, while I'm driving, I'm charging it using the charging cable and just a simple um, power converter in my car or, or a power port, USB adapter, you get it. So yeah, I charge in between stores while I'm driving. Um, and then the fourth thing that it comes with is this little dongle. This is for the computer to hook it up to your computer so that if you're using something like ScanLister or AccelerList, you can use this to scan in all your books. It goes much faster than listing books into Amazon using Seller Central app. Like it is just way faster. And we'll cover that in an upcoming video where we will list 100 plus books using this and we'll do it in the matter of uh, less than an hour. It's not gonna be a less than an hour video. It'll be less than an hour, but I'm not gonna take the whole entire time to make a video, right? You get it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll showcase that. So when I say it's analog, basically to do anything with this scanner, you have to scan barcodes in this and it unlocks the functions of the scanner itself. So to pair with your computer, you would scan the first barcode, which is uh, entering the settings mode. Then you immediately scan the next barcode, which is uh, the 2.4 G wireless mode barcode. And then you scan pair with Wi-Fi dongle barcode and it goes into pairing status. And then uh, once you plug your dongle in and there's like directions, once you plug your dongle in, you scan the exit setting mode and then your setup. It's very, very simple. It's just kind of irritating having to take like the extra steps to do this when there's other scanners out there that um, that are like, it's all right here. You have to carry this with you everywhere you go because let's say you left it in uh, Wi-Fi mode for your computer, but you're out at the bookstore scanning books and now you can't pair this with your phone because you don't have the Bluetooth barcodes to scan to pair it with your phone. That's kind of irritating. Um, it happened to me one time and I learned from that mistake. I came home, I got the book, went back out. I've never left it behind after that. Uh, it's surprisingly robust for, for what it is, I guess. Um, 
I've dropped it a few times. I'm pretty careful. It comes with this wrist strap. One time it fell out of my pocket when I wasn't using it and uh, I just put the battery cover back on and it worked just fine. Pretty, uh, pretty decent. Works for iOS, Androids, Windows operating system, Mac. Um, good battery life. It's kind of chunky, so that, there's a drawback. It's kind of a, a big brick of a thing. It feels sturdy in your hands, but it's also not, um, it's not little. You know, some people like to take their phones and put a piece of Velcro on the back and then Velcro their scanner to it so they can just scan and look at their phone at the same time. Uh, but this is basically like holding a big phone and a little phone together. Uh, so that's kind of a drawback, but for the $45 price point on Amazon, there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. For 45 bucks, this is not a bad piece. This is really, really, it, it honestly shocked me. I thought it was going to break right away. I read a couple negative reviews, a lot of good reviews, but um, read a couple, you know, two and three star reviews for it. But uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. A few days ago, I passed my 70,000th scan um, since I've started FBA. And um, I would say probably 40,000 of those have been with this scanner really quick. I use it in conjunction with the Scoutly app, which is basically like um, Scout IQ, I think, uh, just less expensive. And I feel like a lot more intuitive and user friendly. Um, yeah, I use it with that. Really great. Side note, if you are interested in a scouting app or, or a, a scanning app, there's a link below for Scoutly, free 30-day trial, and then it's 30 bucks a month if you want database mode, which I highly recommend because you never know when you're going to be somewhere weird in the basement of a church or in some like old real estate sale and you don't have service and so live mode's not working. Database mode takes care of all of that. Uh, yeah, free 30-day trial with the link in the description. They're all going to be linked below. Also... Um, just kind of a quick plug. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, it would be wise to do that. That's where I answer all the questions. And so if you have questions, DM me and I'm very quick to get back to those. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to play around with this and I'm going to show you sort of the setup function of this. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys. So here we have the three things that you need to set up your barcode scanner for Bluetooth mode on your phone. This is so that you can scan things out and about. I've already disconnected the Bluetooth mode so that we can kind of start from scratch. Um, in my booklet, I have the page dog-eared right here where it's pair with computer and pair with your device. So I'm gonna be pairing with an iOS operating system. It's the same barcodes for everything. And so basically what we're gonna do Trying to make sure we have this all in focus, all in view. Uh, you want your Bluetooth to be off on your device, like mine is. Then you're just going to turn the scanner on. Once it's on, you're going to scan the first barcode on the booklet under the pair with iOS operating system or Android if that's your thing. So we're going to scan the first. It's now in enter settings mode. We're going to scan the second which is Bluetooth HID mode. We're going to scan the third, which is putting it in search mode. You can see how it's blinking now, okay? We're gonna turn this on. Turn your Bluetooth on and scroll to the bottom where you're gonna see other devices. Tap barcode scanner, wait a second, and now it is linked up. You can see that there's two lights. I know it's a little bit out of focus. I'm trying to deal on a very shallow focus plane here. The blue on the right just means that it's now linked. And then the final step is just to scan the barcode at the bottom and you're done. Like that's literally all there is to it. The reverse for your computer is basically you would turn off the Bluetooth mode on your phone so it doesn't link to it. And then similar to how we set up Bluetooth, you would just go from this side where it's paired with your computer Scan the first, scan the second, scan the third, then plug in your Wi-Fi dongle. It'll pair and then scan the exit settings mode. Super easy. Uh, a couple of things to mention on here. You can restore it to factory default setting. Uh, I only did that one time just to kind of see what it did. Uh, not a big deal. There's the pull up and hide keyboards in Android 
iOS operating system. This is if you want to use your keyboard while texting. Um, I normally just turn the scanner off and then you can use your keyboard on your phone and then turn it back on still in Bluetooth mode and it will uh, sync up automatically. That's if you have, you know, absolutely have to text somebody at the moment. Um, a lot of this stuff I don't really mess with. Sleep time setting, you can adjust your sleep time. My sleep time is one minute. I find that I generally don't go more than one minute while scanning, but if I do, um, I want to make sure that uh, it sleeps and saves that battery. Uh, transmission speed setting, fast, medium, low, or ultra low. I don't know why you'd want anything other than fast. Um, this is prefix and suffix setting. If you want to type in things for whatever reason, or you need, you know, F2, F11, whatever, you, you need your function keys, um, then you can also put in punctuation. There's the entire alphabet. If you want to spell things out by scanning it, don't know why you would do that. One thing I really do recommend right here is the sound and vibration settings. I love that it vibrates when I scan a barcode successfully because in my hand I can feel that it's successfully, um, it's been a successful scan. However, I do not like the beeping sound, which is horrible. I will turn this on so you guys can kind of hear it. Uh, so, you know, obviously we're going to scan the first to enter settings mode, uh, switch on the sound. You can hear it beep like that. It's freaking horrible to be hearing that so much. Here's a book, we'll just scan. No, thank you. Uh, the vibrate is, is enough. Uh, I'm going to turn off the sound and I'm gonna turn on my vibration and then exit setting mode. So that's basically how it goes. So you kind of have to carry this booklet around with you so that you're not kind of caught, you know, dead in the water when you go out to scan books or retail arbitrage items uh, because if you left it in the wi-fi mode with the dongle at home then it's not you you don't have the uh the barcodes to link up bluetooth you're kind of stuck all right guys i hope this video has been informative and helpful once again this scanner is the bang for buck on this thing is amazing uh it's got a few drawbacks i think every every sort of technology piece has a few drawbacks but for the dollar amount, for 45 bucks, this thing is a solid winner. If you wanna check it out or pick one up for yourself, there's a link in the description below where you can check that out. Uh, also, I will link some of the other tools and things that I use while I am out sourcing. I will link those down below as well. Um, please let me know if this video was helpful to you or if you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below or DM me on Instagram at I am Woolsey and I will uh, get right back to you with that. I hope today that I earned a like from you, and if you're not already subscribed, that you would consider subscribing so you can see more videos as they come out. Uh, if you do subscribe, please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified instantly when I upload next. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Happy hunting.